The just ended 2020 Wasi for the first batch of free senior high school students was mad with a lot of controversies. Some persons circulated the yet to be written Wasi papers on social media and many alleged that this was an attempt to ensure the first batch of students passed the exams well. Some invigilators were also reportedly manhandled by some students who were allegedly engaged in exam malpractice. Clarifying the allegations made against the exam body, the head of national office of Waiyek, Wendy Adilamte, indicated that all leaked papers seen on social media were fake. Mrs. Adilamte assured that quality assurance systems had been put in place to protect the integrity of the exam. There was allegedly widespread leakage of questions on most of the social networks and as is usually the case why it was taken to the cleaners the truth however is that for each paper there were several versions on social media and these questions were not genuine the reaction of some candidates after the integrated integrated science paper for instance led credence to this fact in all of the council's interactions with the media, we have consistently cautioned candidates against the operation of rogue websites. To prevent future occurrences, Wayek noted that it had engaged security agencies to track persons involved in leaking fake exam questions on social media. Reverend Victor Brew is head of legal at Wayek. We have engaged cyber crime uh, department of um, um, the CID cyber unit and even e-crime and other underground investigators to see how can we pull down these websites and again the same issue of it can't just be done uh, you know you have to go through various steps and we feel in a sense frustrated but then we are, we are not in despair.